Hello everybody, it's me, Tonic TCW, and uh, I've been trying to get a tier 7 win, and it's proving impossible to come by. This is a spud run, so obviously it's a defeat, um, but we do, well, we, we try to do a good job, but uh, watching the minimap, um, I could see straight away that this was going to be a defeat from the very start. Now we're spawning here in the centre of the map and uh, the centre of the map isn't always a good place to be. There is only one destroyer in the game, he is on the left flank, but uh, that's quite open across there. So I'm thinking, yeah, you know, this guy's going to get in there, he's going to get the cap. And I decide that with the key, um, I don't play a lot of battleships, so I don't know every single thing about them. You know, I don't know the calibers, the guns, the, the overmatch and everything like this. I go out and I play a ship and I just try to play to the best of my abilities in it. Um, I'm going to do a decent job in this game, as you could see from the title screen. However, um, a lot of this team here are going to do their absolute utmost to... Um, to bring defeat upon our shoulders. And I know it's very easy to sit here and criticize other players, um, but I'll also point out some places where I feel that I went wrong in this game and could potentially um, have made a difference. But the key is a tier seven Japanese premium battleship. It did used to be one of the rarest in the game. Um, I think it had something like a 0 0.1 or a 0.01% drop rate from a crate. And um, I got it from a free crate and was very surprised um, when it dropped because uh, the only other ship I wanted out of that crate was the Asashio. And I had an equal chance of getting them both and uh, I got a battleship instead of a destroyer. So perhaps Wargaming trying to uh, coax me into playing a different ship. Oh, I think, what have we got? One, two, three, four, five turrets, double turrets, ten shells. Um, it's got quite a decent range on it. I'm running an accuracy build on this. Um, as that Wichita soon learned that uh, we've just punched him for, what, 22,000 through a citadel. And we are flicking, looking at the targets and looking at where we can potentially get the best shot on here. Um, I'm not one of these that is uh, going to sit and wait for the absolute perfect moment to uh, get a shot. But seeing those torpedoes coming through tells me that uh, we have the destroyer on this side, which isn't a great thing. But we've got two cruisers for backup. Um, but if you look at the minimap there, you'll notice that our destroyer appears to be allergic to capture points. Now, I know there is a Belfast out there. We've got the Wichita spotted. Um, we we are going to dispatch that Wichita before too long. Um, but the two cruisers out here on the right flank seem quite content sitting behind an island or kiting away at range. And literally, you know, there are nine, nine ships on red team here and we can barely see a thing. So I'm trying to position to get in a space where A, I can see something and B, I could get a shot on it, because um, taking it to the enemy team, putting pressure on them, is exactly what we need to be doing. We've lost um, C-Cap, because that has gone to the red team Fletcher, and uh, even though there are ships across there, right on A-Cap, this Akatsuki doesn't appear to be doing anything to um, help the team out by getting them spotted. Now on this map I'm always wary of pushing into the centre early on in a battleship because you can get flank fired from both sides it's not a place to be in. Ideally you want to be moving, you want to be positioning, you don't want to be clustering up. Um, you know the, the more angles you can get on a team the more damage you are going to do the more they are going to have to be thinking about their own positioning. But uh, I think that was the uh, Wichita that we got rid of there. Um, I wasn't actually paying attention. I was too busy thinking about things and talking at the same time. 
But as I said, we've got two cruisers there on the right flank. There's uh, a chappie over there parked right on the edge of the island. Again, he keeps going unspotted. Um, we've lost two ships already. Red team have lost one. And we're going to try and even the score on that one. Can we get some shots of the chappie? Tip here. Watching that chappie have pull out, if you look at the smoke stacks, if the smoke is going to the rear, he's coming forwards. If that smoke suddenly goes straight up, that means that he has already engaged reverse gear. So that's why I switched my sight a little bit um, behind that Chapeyev. So realizing that um, our destroyer seems incapable of doing anything of any value, um, I decide that I'm going to push across, support these two cruisers, and try and push onto this cap but they really just seem content with sitting there and not doing a lot. Um, we get rid of the Scharnhorst, two kills, and uh, I take a slap off that champagne because I wasn't paying attention to where his guns were looking. I thought he might be looking at those two cruisers, looking for an easy kill. And uh, if you look at the uh, left side and center side of the map now, you'll see that um, pretty much it looks like those guys have completely given up. Red team have sailed in and taken A cap. They have a two cap advantage. They're already, what, a hundred points up and they're only going to increase that lead. Um, this destroyer, I honestly, I, I don't know what was going through his mind. He's Japanese. Um, and I always find that if you jump on early morning, you are in the sort of um, the Japanese time zone. And I, I'm going to see it. The play early in the morning UK time when there are a lot of Japanese players on always seems to be pretty abysmal. But the two cruisers finally managed to pick up that destroyer. So nobody has anything to worry about now. Our Akatsuki does not need to fear being hunted by the destroyer. He can push caps, he can get in position, he can push ships, but he's actually pretty much the furthest ship back on the map. And he's not even gonna be able to counter the push of red team through A cap. You know, they're gonna they're gonna push hard. Um We've lost the ships in the center. Everything now has come this way. And I'm not the fastest ship, but I am pretty much the biggest ship. And uh, I pretty much guarantee that I am going to become the focus of attention before too long. So, um, yeah. This, this, as I said, was a defeat from the start. It was very obviously a defeat from the start. And... Uh, I'm trying to do as much as I can to turn the balance. Now, our destroyer isn't even going to consider going towards B cap. Now, in that position there, watching red team push across to B, I would be pulling a 180 and pushing back through A, or potentially trying to push it back through A, to take that cap and come in on the enemy's rear because all you're doing at the moment buddy is chasing the ships and uh, not actually doing anything I think he was literally just sitting at range spamming torpedoes waiting for a reload coming in spamming torpedoes again and then uh, moving away and it was incredibly frustrating and uh, the only medal I needed to end the week was a confederate. And I thought, well, there's an opportunity here for that, but you've got to stay alive long enough to get it. And this is where I make a mistake, but it's be possibly because of that champagne out there. I wanted to turn into this cap. I noticed that this cruiser is backing up, um, but turning into that cap would put me straight in to everything that's pushed across from A and that wouldn't be a great place. Uh, this cruiser is going to reverse into the cap and try to take it for us. I am watching that Colorado because I know he's got some very big and very powerful guns so I am going to try and do what I can 
to um, get rid of him. There's a John Bart. I don't want to be on the receiving end of him. So I get a full salvo off at the Colorado while he's spotted. Um, the destroyer is still just sailing around with his dick in his hand, dare I say, because I can't honestly believe that he had both hands on the controller at uh, any point during this game. Uh, yeah, I play a lot of destroyers and watching that little triangle do what it's doing on the map. I was just thinking, come on buddy, there is no way in hell that uh, you are doing anything of any value for the team. Now I know I've got a Champagne off my front, and I've got a Scharnhorst, a Colorado, a Jean Bart, and a Belfast off to my left. So pretty much um, within range of every single ship on red team. Our destroyer, I don't think, managed to uh, hit any torpedoes out there that lot. But I'm going to get a couple of turrets across at that um, Colorado and finish two turrets on the um, Scharnhorst even though I can't really see him. We pick up the kill for the Colorado and now I'm very aware that this Champagne is pushing into me and I'll give this guy his due, he plays well, he counters me very well, he seems to know the strengths of the key, he certainly knows the strengths of his ship and um, this is where I start to make myself in a battleship. Um, I know the game is lost. There's no point of me turning and sitting into a, you know, sailing into a cap and allowing red team to position themselves around me because I wouldn't have lasted as long as I do. But we get a good hit on the champagne, but we are giving up a full broadside. We hit a heal. We do pick up a high caliber. What we're on 125,000 damage. That is shots from the Belfast coming over. He's actually out of range of me. I think he's something like 21Ks from me. But we get lit on fire. Champagne takes that opportunity to get another salvo on me. I'm trying to lead him. And uh, at that angle, he is well angled. And I'm not. As I said, I make mistakes. I'm not the greatest battleship player in the world. I've got the Belfast behind lighting me on fire. I can see that the Scharnhorst and the Jean Bart are coming around. I've got to turn to get some guns on these things if I'm going to make any difference to this game. And if you look there, you can see that our destroyer is actually sailing away, firing his guns at this um, Jean Bart. So he could have pushed in, helped me with will to rebuild, kept me alive a little bit longer. Um, that might have given us the opportunity to get a few ships off the map and turn around and push. But the way the points are looking, that is not going to happen. I have no doubt that I am seconds from death. And uh, I get clattered again. The Scharnhorst has got HE on me. There's a fire. The Jean Bart has got shots on me as well. But uh, we pick up our Confederate right at the moment that we die and our destroyer who sailed across to a cap all he has done is successfully sail all the way across to c cap so we finished with a high color confederates and a hundred and forty eight thousand potato points but you will see that that means that i finished both my campaign and my heroic achievements for the week which i was very very grateful for and we also tick off a few of the dailies. Half a million in credits. It's not bad. I did try my best to make some impact on that game there. But it wasn't to be. And as I said, I don't play battleships. But there I am at the top of the board. Um, the destroyer survived placing just above the middle. And um, what do you say about the rest of the team? Sorry guys, but that was never going to be a victory. So I hope you've enjoyed watching my painful defeat. I do share my defeats as well as my victories because we all need to learn. Um, take care. Keep your eyes peeled. There's more content coming. See you all later, guys.